Hey guys, it's Cindy from Living Rich with Coupons. How is everybody? Uh, today is February, what day is today? February 4th. Um, and today we're going to talk about the power of the stockpile and how important it is to build that stockpile to save tons of money on your groceries. So welcome, you guys. I see you all coming in um, more and more. And thank you for joining me. If you're just coming in, I'm Cindy from Living Rich with Coupons. And uh, I'm really excited about today uh, do, doing the stock. Hi, how are you? Um, I'm really excited about uh, today. And later, guess what? You're going to see my stockpile. Um, so I'm excited to show you that and um, you'll take a peek. Hi, Terry. How are you? Hi, Teresa. Hello, everybody. I'm so glad. You know, I said last night to my husband, hi, Lore. I said to my husband, I, so I feel like I should get that magic mirror, you know, that says, I see Lori, I see Terry, I see Teresa. <laughs> he, he didn't think it was funny, but I thought it was funny. Anyway, hi, Jackie. Hi, Anthony. Um, how is everybody? Uh, I'm glad that you're all joining me again. If you're just coming in, we're going to be talking about the power of the stockpile today. Um, so I am really, 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 um, looking forward to showing you, uh, to going over this and later on showing you my stockpile. Now I'm gonna confess I had to clean up my stockpile yesterday, last night, because I went downstairs and really took a look at it, and I was like, what? It was a mess. Um, so we're going to be real here. I did have to clean it so that I can show you from um, my stockpile, because, you know, I have helpers, and those helpers, I say, a bag of, of items, and I tell them, um, can you guys put this in the stockpile for me? And you know what they do? They bring it down to the stockpile and they leave it in the bags. <laughs> so I must have found like six bags of stuff last night. So and I gave it a good cleaning. It was good. So anyway, let's talk. I know there's a lot of people on right now. and Welcome to everybody. Let's talk about um, why the stockpile is so important to couponing and saving money. And it really, 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 really is. Um, so there's four steps all together that I talk about that are important to get started using coupons. The first one is knowing where to get your coupons. We talked about that on Monday. The next one is knowing uh, when to use your coupons. We talked about that on Tuesday, which we're going to touch again a little bit with the stockpile information. Yesterday, we talked about how to use your coupons and knowing your coupon policy. This is the most important step out of all of them. And the reason is, um, is because it puts you in control of how much you're going to pay for your groceries ver versus how much the store is going to pay you um, um, or how much the store makes you pay for your groceries. Now, I'm going to give you an example of why the stockpile is so important. If you were here on Tuesday and we talked about when to use your coupons, I showed you this, this chart here. So we're going to go back to this chart today and talk about it. Uh, because you can see at the very bottom, I said, you know, this is where you're going to stock up on your cereal. Now, let's say, for instance, your family loves Cheerios. We're just going to use that, that as an example. And you go through about two boxes a week uh, with your family. And that's what your kids, the only thing your kids will eat. So you have to have it in your house. Um, this is the example that I'm going to use. Now, you don't have anything in your stockpile. You don't have any groceries in your stockpile, any cereal in your stockpile. So you're, and you ran out, you have no more. So you are now forced to go to um, the grocery store and they're not on sale. So guess what you're going to pay? $3.99. Why? Because you have no choice but to, to buy it at that price. So now the store is in control of what you're going to pay for those that box of cereal, okay? Now, let's say next week uh, it goes on sale for $2.50, okay, like in this example, and you happen to have a dollar coupon or 
no, on sale for two fifty, and you happen to have a coupon. You have coupons for a dollar off, so you could score it for a dollar fifty. Are you going to buy one? Nope. You're going to buy at least four at that price because your price point is high. Your price point was three ninety nine reach full retail retail price because you had none in your stockpile. So now you're getting it on sale for a dollar fifty. So you're going to buy at least four of them. And that'll get you through a couple weeks. If you could buy eight of them, that'll get you through four weeks, okay? So now let's say you bought eight, okay? Let's use the eight. And you have eight now in your stockpile. You're going through two a week. So now in two weeks from now, you've gone through two, four of them. So you have four more left in your stockpile. And they go on sale for $2.99. And you have a dollar coupon. Now you can pass that sale up and say, I have enough that I can wait at least another week or so and see if a sale will go up on for them at a lower price. So now, next week, the week after that, they go on sale for $2.50 again, and you still have your dollar coupon, and now you have a store promotion for one dollar off. It was a store coupon or a store promotion, and it, it, it makes it an additional dollar off. Now, you can stock up at 50 cents a box. So you're not going to buy one and you're not going to buy eight. You're going to buy as many as you can with as many coupons as you can. And if the deal is good enough, even without coupons with the store promotion, you'll still buy some to get them in your stockpile. Now, you have like 16 boxes of Cheerios in your stockpile. The week after that, they go back on sale for $2.50 and the promotion's over and you still have your coupon and it's $1.50 now. Now your price point is now is now 50 cents. Well, you have all those boxes in your stockpile. So you just by stocking up at this super low price for as many as you can, you just pushed your, your price point lower. And now you are in control of how much you're going to pay for that box of cereal at the grocery store. So now you don't have to spend that dollar fifty. You can afford to wait until it gets to fifty cents or even lower than that. And if it's going to be lower than that, you bet your your coupons that you're going to be stocking up more on them if you can get them lower before you run out. So that is the power of the stockpile. It puts you, like I said in the beginning, it puts you in control of how much you're going to pay at the grocery store versus the grocery store telling you how much you're being forced to pay. It's really a powerful tool. Now, I know some of you have seen that extreme couponing show where you know they turn their living room into a mini mart. That is not what you need to do. You need to stock up on about three months worth of groceries um, that, or products that are important to your family. So you don't need a thousand toothbrushes, but you do need enough of the items to stock up um, to keep your family fed or using those products for about three months or so. Of course, there's going to be items like you're going to see in my stockpile. Shampoo got a little out of hand in my stockpile, but you're going to see some items that you probably will have excess amount of. At that point, you can donate them um, or some like shampoo, for instance, doesn't really go out, but I will be donating a whole bunch of them when you see how much I have actually. But um, uh, so that is the power of the stockpile. So if anybody has any questions um, before I take you downstairs, let me just scan through real fast. Um, well, Jackie's telling me about her call yesterday because I, I suggested that she call Stop and Shop because she was having an issue with them. And, and they said they would be giving me a gift card. See that? See, I'm glad that you got that resolved, Jackie. Um, yeah, you go through a box of day, Teresa, I know. <laughs> um, <laughs> hi, everybody. Lots of shampoo from the recent Target deal. I have lots of shampoo from a lot of things, but we're going to take you um, 
yeah my brother is telling me he's going to take some shampoo this is what happens <laughs> uh, maybe that's why i didn't have it organized because when they went down there they couldn't find things easily now it's organized and they'll be able to find everything my mother my brother they all go down and take stuff from my stockpile i'm sure you guys are used to it so i'm going to take you off of here do you know if ShopRite will take Acme store coupons five off? Um, Anthony, that depends on your store. Um, you check at customer service. Some ShopRites will, some won't. So can we see your past videos that I missed? Yep. If you go on my timeline, Cindy Livesey, and scroll down, you'll see them all. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and today. And so they'll always be there. Terry wants to know how many paper coupons do you buy at a time? I get four papers sent to my house every week. Um, and that I've been doing that forever. Um, I don't get extra. I, that's just four. So that w always works for me. So I'm going to take you off of here. So bear with me. You might want to close your eyes because um, it's going to be a bumpy ride as we go downstairs. So I apologize for the um, for the bumpiness. So we're going to head down. I'm in my house. You guys, like I said, are live in my house right now so we are going to go downstairs so you're coming with me down the stairs and into oh i got a fuzz on me into my basement so here we we go into the basement it's scary in the basement <laughs> okay so we're in the basement and I'm going to turn you around. You still with me, everybody? All right, ready? Door number one. Okay, so you can see this is mostly my grocery items here. Look at all that pasta, right? Remember when that pronto pasta was on sale? This, I got to tell you a story about this red lentil pasta. I try to eat as gluten-free as possible, and I found this at Costco, and they were discontinuing it there, and it was a super great price, so I bought them, I bought a whole bunch. <laughs> so this is my stockpile, a lot of canned goods down there. That's one shelf. We'll close that one. Oh, you can kind of see down here. But we'll go, I'll take you down that way. There's juices here. The light's not on over there. I'll put the light on here. Hold on. There's juice there. And some... Oh, guess where I got those? Target! After Christmas clearance. Um, so we'll come over here. This is my paper goods area. So, lots of toilet paper. And um, napkins and Kleenex. See, there's another Target clearance find. Yay! And paper towels. I'm actually low on paper towels. I should have probably done the deal. Maybe I'll do the deal one more time at, at ShopRite. So that's my paper goods and we'll come over to the last one this is like an awesome space that when we bought this house was here I was like hello this is my stockpile closet so here's now this entire shelf is shampoo so yeah it's a little much <laughs> and now, I'm going to say something that I said earlier in case you guys missed it. I came down here, and I'm being real, I came down here and organized this because if you missed what I said, I was finding, I send my, my husband and my son down here with, um, this is soaps and body washes and um, things like that. Here's a lot of, I have a ton. Sheesh, look at that. Yikes. <laughs> razors but anyway what I was saying is um, I sent my husband down with bags asking him to put them down here and guess what I found a whole bunch of bags with stuff <laughs> so I really had to get it organized for you guys so I'm keeping it real here I did organize it last night um, so this is mostly my cleaning supplies and things like that 
So that is my stockpile. So I hope you cut. There I, hello again. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed um, that uh, tour of my stockpile. Um, how did, let me answer any questions. Love the Shea baby soap and shampoo. Sad I missed that deal. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes we miss deals, but it will, trust me, there's always a deal out there. How did you get all the working hands lotion? I didn't even see that there. Was that there? Working hands? I don't know that I had that there. Um, but anyway, um, if you guys don't have any more questions, that is my um, power of the stockpile uh, talk today and uh, my tour of my stockpile. And tomorrow we are going to, what did I say we were talking about? Oh, tomorrow we'll be back on at 11 o'clock and we're going to talk about how I get ready to do couponing each week. So I hope you'll join me at 11 p.m. I'm sorry, not 11 p.m. I'll be sleeping. 11 a.m. tomorrow, Friday, to talk about how I get ready for coupon shopping each week. So we'll talk to you later. I hope you enjoyed it, and thank you so much for stopping by. Bye.